How's it going, everybody? Bowser Mobile here, bringing you another absolute banger of platinum. Today, we've got another one from Rattalika called Arrow the Acrobat. Shout out to them for getting me a code for the game. And you're looking at six bucks cross buy with only two stacks. This is a fun little remaster of the 1993 cult classic SNES and Genesis game of the same name. You can pick between the English and Japanese versions of the game. I just stuck with English. You've got a fast forward and rewind function like you do with PSN classics. You've got six save states you can swap between. And you've got all the cheats you could ever need, which, most importantly, don't disable the trophies, making this an absolute breeze. Head into the options menu and turn all those on if you plan on playing that way. Trophy-wise, you've got a few goals here, the main one being just to beat the game. There are three missable bonus levels that you have to pick up a token to unlock, and I'll leave timestamps down below in the description so you can see where exactly you pick those up. Aside from beating the game and all the bonus levels, you have to finish a level in under four minutes, you have to finish a level after collecting 30 items, and you have to finish a level after beating 20 enemies. My main tip for you would be to use your save states at the beginning of each level, rotating through the six as you make your way through the game, making sure you got the bonus levels completed. You can get the bonus tokens in World 1, Level 2, World 2, Level 4, and World 4, Level 3. There's no bonus in World 3, so don't worry about it. As far as the time trophies go, I wouldn't worry about it too much if you're following along with my guide and using the cheats. I finished World 1, Level 2, with almost 5 minutes left, so if you're rushing through, you'll get the time trophies done without much issue. The item pickup trophy is also something you don't really have to worry about, as one of the bonus levels in particular, the one in World 4, has a ton of things that you'll be picking up without even trying. Just pick a level at some point and make sure you kill at least 20 enemies. That'll get all the extra trophies out of the way, and you can just focus on beating the game. Following the guide, each level only really takes a few minutes to finish, with the final boss fight probably being the longest level in the entire game, just because there's so much vertical jumping you have to do in between the stages the boss has. No written guide or running commentary for this one, it's a pretty simple Sonic-esque platformer, and the addition of the rewind function, as well as being able to use cheats freely, make it a super easy platinum. Expect to finish this somewhere between one to two hours if you're following along with the guide, longer if you plan on going in without the cheats on. All right, that'll do it for me though, everybody. Super simple, easy, cheap, fast platinum today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below which number platinum this was for you, and subscribe to the channel for more trophy hunting content. This was number 969 for me. Oh, 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 oh,